Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how I created this beautiful holy water bottle. I was not happy with the fact that I had my holy water in a plastic throwaway bottle so I decided to make something beautiful and this was the result. So let's get started. As always I will have the complete list of supplies in the info box below along with some links. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean our bottle with some alcohol just to make sure there's no grease on it. Next I drew a cross that I thought would look amazing on this bottle since it's so thick and chunky. I will have this pattern for free on my blog if you'd like to download it. I folded it in half and I cut out the shape just to make sure that both sides were even. I took about 8 inches of this aluminum tape and I folded it in half and I placed my cross right on the edge. Now cut it out as accurate as possible. Now that we have our two halves, we're going to give the tape some texture. And for this we're going to use this folder. And using some leftover tape, I taped both sides together just to give it some consistency. Now I ran it through my Big Shot just once. And be careful while removing it. Look how beautiful the detail shows up on this tape. Isn't it amazing? Now to get it glued onto our bottle, I took the tape off the bottom part of the cross. And then I placed it right in the middle of the front of the bottle. And I removed the backing slowly as I glued the tape down. And don't worry about leaving a gap in the middle, we're going to cover that. To give it some patina, I used some, some black acrylic paint. And just using a dry brush, I wanted to get the nook and crannies just so that it could highlight the beauty of this texture. Clean up the edges if you need to. And now we're going to work on the seam of the cross. Using some clear glue, I placed a small little line right on the seam. Next, I placed some crystal beads right along the seam and I just kept working all the way down to the bottom of the cross. Using a straight object, just make sure the beads are nice and straight. Now we're going to work on the topper of our bottle. So remove the backing of the drawer pull and now we're going to glue these two pieces together using some clear glue and some hot glue to keep it in place while the clear glue dries. Now we're going to glue our crown on top of the original bottle topper using the same concept, a little bit of clear glue and some hot glue. Now using some nail polish, I painted the whole thing in a nice silver. To give it some patina, I gave the crown and the bottle topper a nice black wash. And all you have to do is just dilute the black acrylic paint with a little bit of water. And then just put some on the piece and then take off the excess paint with a rag. To keep this all nice and cohesive, I painted the very bottom of the cork a nice jet black. And for the final touch, I added three beads right where the crown meets the topper, the original topper of the bottle. And this represents the Holy Trinity in my mind. And it ties in the front of the cross, all those beads that we put in the front of the cross with the topper. And now you're done. Now you can top your bottle. Oh my gosh, I love it. It's so beautiful, so elegant, so simple. 
And now you're ready to pour in your holy water to keep it nice and beautiful. I don't know about you, but I think this looks amazing. Everything ties in together beautifully and so simple to make. Let me know, leave me a comment. Don't forget to follow me on, on Instagram. I will post more pictures of the bottle. And if you decide to create this, I would love to see your bottles. You could just uh, tag me on Instagram, at Venus Bloom Real, and I would love to see them. Thanks, bye. Thank you.